Here's my fish I caught today, guys. Aren't they great? <laughs> Well, hey guys, I drove down to Merrimack State Park and I'm gonna put my waders on now, get dressed and head down there and fish. It took me about an hour and a half by car to get here from St. Louis. So I'm glad you could join me because this might be something you wanna do. It, it's springtime here in Missouri, it's Merrimack State Park and I'm gonna go fishing and have some fun. All right. So this is the first time using my Orvis waders. I'm hoping there's no leaks. Um, kind of cute, aren't they? <laughs> I like them. I got my lanyard just in case I need to get a fish off the hook. So I've got a Kelly clamp, I got scissors, and I got a nipper to nip my line. All right. Okay. So I've got my fishing rod inside my case that I made. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I'll hold it up. But I've got a fish on here. I hand tooled this leather. It's got a fish and a stream and it says carpe diem, huh? Yep. All right. I also brought with me this little thing I made. This keeps my flies. So I hand carved a fish in there. You open it up and I've got my flies that I made in there. And you know, I gotta put on my lipstick because you never know what I might catch down here, right? So look at that bubbling water behind me. Isn't that beautiful? All right, I'm gonna try to start fishing here. This is a real case that I made. It's got a live fish on the outside and a dead fish on the inside. Yeah, I'm going to bother you while you're fishing. You're Are right. you married? No. I should introduce you to my son. I need a fly fishing daughter-in-law. <laughs> How old is your son? What's that? How old is your son? <laughs> He's born in 95. Let me do the math. Oh, no, 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 no. I was born in 63. So okay. That's a little... Yeah, about my son's age. <laughs> well, I'm already married. I was born in 62. All right. Well, if you know anybody else. <laughs>
Okay, so that nice guy came up and he told me to put on a thinner filament on my line, like that, so I don't spook the fish. And he gave me a fly to use. It's like a little peachy kind of fly. So I'm gonna try this. All right, I'm gonna tie it on and try again. I might wade out a little bit or go find a spot that isn't quite so mossy. There's a lot of moss right through here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do, guys. All right, so I got the new fly on that guy gave me. And I got this, and I got the filament on. And I'm gonna go down there and walk in the water and slay a fish. How's that? Let me just say that water is freaking freezing. That's why nobody's waiting out there today. The water is so cold, even in my waders. My legs are freezing. Huh? They're coming out, yeah. They're wanting to eat my face. <laughs> okay. Nice fish. <laughs> Can I borrow them for a second? <laughs> I don't want to forget that car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's my fish I caught today, guys. Aren't they great? <laughs> Okay guys, hey, I am going back out. I changed my fly out and this is the one I'm gonna try to get something with this time. All right, so I've got this orange one and he's got a little yellow and he's kind of furry. I don't know what he is, but I caught a lot of moss this time. All right, you know what's really nice about being here is that there's not a lot of people here this time. Last time I was here, this place was packed and today it's not and it's so nice. I mean, it's just like, there's a few people here. Some nice people I've been talking to. Oof. Would you like a hunk of moss? How about another hunk of moss up here? Okay. Oh, more moss. Okay. No, mo no moss, right? No moss. <laughs> All right, going back out into the water here. Okay.
okay guys I'm gonna head down that way to fish and see if I can get something down there I'm feeling really lucky today all right I'm gonna go right down there it's beautiful down this path and I'm gonna go down there and see what I can get all right let's go well isn't this one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen all these streams going through here Miramax Springs Park. It's a great place to get away to relax. It's only an hour and a half from St. Louis. You know, I really love it here. What a great escape. I wish there was like cabins here that I could stay in. That would be wonderful. There's a campground right over there. I'm probably going to bring my camper down and stay. You know, even to be down here for two or three days, pull around, it's beautiful. Relaxing. Right now, there's not a soul here hardly. This is so nice. I'm sure as summer comes, it's going to pick back up and that's okay too. More people. People I've met today are very nice. So check out this old bridge, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Can't fish right here. There's a line right there where you can fish from, and you got to go out that way. So I'm going to walk down that way and see if I can get some fish, all right? But I just want to show you guys this bridge. It's really nice. So hey guys, isn't this one of the most peaceful settings you've ever seen? You've got the bubbling brooks. It's just gorgeous. The birds are chirping. The water is just flowing endlessly. It's awesome. Head down this other way and try to fish down there and see what we can get. You know, I come here just for the most peaceful setting. You know, if I, can't, if I don't catch anything, I'm great with that. All right, let's head down that way. Well guys, I'm going to head on home now, okay? I had a great time fishing today. Didn't catch a lot, but that's all right. I caught one little minnow. I didn't show that one to you because it was just like too little to show. And it kind of got off my hook before I even got it in the, out of the water. So, but it's been a great day. I'll be back here again. Um, this was the spring trip. So I've done a fall and a spring. I'll have to do a summer, summer coming up. All right, so I will see you next time. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, okay guys? Thank you, bye.